viewers, welcome to the Assam Tribune. You are watching Superfast and I'm Monisha and here are the top stories of the day. The Assam Legislative Assembly passed two major bills, the Assam Land and Revenue Regulation, Second Amendment Bill and the Assam Urban Water Bodies Preservation and Conservation Bill during the ongoing autumn session on Thursday. The Assam Land and Revenue Regulation, Second Amendment Bill was proposed to pro protect the land rights of vulnerable communities and protection of cultural identity and land rights of villages that inhabit 100-person SCST community. A tense situation prevailed at the Vishwanath Chariyali Sadar police station after locals of a tea garden Kheraoit demanding the arrest of the group of people who attacked a youth accused of molestation. The incident unfolded after, after a two young women of a tea garden was allegedly molested by another youth from the same place. After the victim's brother became aware of the alleged heinous crime, he accompanied by other people to claws into their hands and beat him black and blue critically injuring him. In a significant move, a major decision has been taken to abolish the namaz breaks that were given to minority communities on Fridays during a session at the Assam Legislative Assembly. The Speaker Biswajit Daimari, taking note in view of secular nature of the constitution, proposed that the Assam Legislative Assembly must conduct its proceedings on Fridays like any other day without any adjournment to facilitate Muslim legislators to offer namaz. Congress MP Gaurav Gogoi expressed that the Assam Wildlife Department's recommendation to grant forest clearance for the proposed oil and gas exploration by Vedanta in the eco-sensitive zone of the Holongapar Gibbon Wildlife Sanctuary in Jorhat district is deeply troubling. Gogoi highlighted that the Holongapar Gibbon Wildlife Sanctuary is a critical habitat for the endangered Hulag Gibbon and the recommendation to grant forest clearance for the project is concerning. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma announced a major step towards safeguarding the state's indigenous communities by going above and beyond the implementation of Clause 6 of the Assam Accord. The new measures will focus on the creation and protection of micro-tribal belt and block and heritage belt and block across the state. A low-cost solar, solar fence has immensely boosted paddy harvest for farmers in Assam's Mirza, resulting in 90% harvest. The solar panel has protected Standing crops on three hectares of crop field from depredation by wild elephants installed in Gosaihat village near the Maliata Reserve of Palashbari Range Forest, Mirza. In November 2023, the prime focus was to protect the vast crop field. Former General Secretary of Bangladesh's Awami League, Ishak Ali Khan, Panna's semi decomposed body has been recovered in Jantia Hills, where post mortem reports claim that the victim was throttled to death. The body was recovered by Dona Bhoi, villagers of East Jantia Hills, inside the betel nut plantation, 5 km away from the international border on August 26. The Meghalaya government has announced a decision to form a committee to address the issue of stone quarry and stone crusher units between the employees and workers following the implementation of the Meghalaya Minor Minerals Concession Rules. The decision came in the midst of the ongoing autumn session of the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly. A 19-year-old youth has been arrested after a video surfaced showing him molesting a 61-year-old deaf and mute woman in Sikkim. The disturbing incident that reportedly occurred on August 26 was recorded by a juvenile on a mobile phone which belonged to another minor and later uploaded on social media by the accused. The case came to light after a formal complaint was lodged on August 28, leading to the registration of a case in the Dorethang police station. Between Thursday morning and Friday morning, Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense tracked 25 Chinese military aircraft, seven naval ships and two official vessels operating around Taiwan. The activity occurred between 6 a.m. on Thursday and 6 a.m. on Friday with 17 of the aircraft crossing the Taiwan Strait Median Line, a move that further escalated regional tensions. That's all the news we have for today on Superfast 10. Thank you for joining us. For more news and updates, stay connected with us on social media. Tune in again at the same time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the Assam Tribune.